Good morning, folks. Today's the day. Third film of the month, Climate Forcing, comes out this afternoon. We'll have details in a minute, but there is work to be done first. Starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, we find the last 24 hours exceedingly quiet. Corona hole quite prominent there. The letter of the day is T. No sunspots, no solar flares, but the solar wind remains intensified from that stream that we showed beginning to impact yesterday. Sparse high readings, but the bulk is a moderate intensity stream only. Earth's magnetic field is handling it this morning with virtually no instability. Something of note here. Got a bit of a linear clustering of interior planets in the system right now. Numerous conjunctions and heliocentric oppositions unfolding in this week to 10 day span. And that is indeed what you are seeing on SOHO. Glare wings occur because the super sensitive camera is meant to pick up the light from the normally invisible solar wind. Planets reflecting, oversaturating. El Paso broke a record for most 100 degree days and then sat inside while a powerful hailstorm roared through and took its frustration out on car windows. I was beginning to think that volcanoes were going to steal the show from the earthquakes during this current alert. I suppose the quakes were just waiting for that second coronal hole. Alert period, not over yet. And we move on to the science discoveries. Starting with a massive exoplanet, it's got a tremendously eccentric orbit. I do wish they hadn't overlaid it on our system for reference, because I've already seen a few people not actually read the article and claim this exoplanet 100 light years away is coming to crash through our system. It is not. Up next, we've got gold and platinum, the most lucrative event here with a phenomenal spectral presentation indicating that there was tremendous production of gold and platinum in what they think was a star collision and resulting nova. Some more aesthetically pleasing space images up next as we see the cosmos in infrared. Spitzer revolutionized how we see the low energy light of the universe, invisible to the human eye, and these photos and linked stories celebrate its sweet 16. The top story today would have been very nice to have about a month ago when planning and making the third film coming out today. It's a critical examination of electron action in the aurora, demonstrating discrete versus electron belt driven particle precipitation, and they are beginning to fully comprehend what we call the total vertical column of modulation. You'll hear that a bunch this afternoon in the third film, and in their altitude discriminated readings they show how space weather utterly changes the electron bombardment of the ionosphere and upper atmosphere. This directly ties down into the global electric circuit, which does of course reach all the way through the air and even to the crust. Again, would have been nice to have that one before the movie, but this third film does indeed come out at noon in the eastern US, got a link below for that one as well. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got the first two films linked below if you need to catch up. We've got your wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.